Wow, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully everybody had a good weekend, Memorial Day, all that stuff. I know I did. I survived a near-death experience. I walked into the inferno and I came out the other end unscathed. How did this happen, you might ask? Here in Ohio, a couple days back, we had a tornado rip through the state. Decimated buildings, property, livestock, free range rice, cut a swath through. But me, unaffected. Apparently it was like midnight and all these alarms were going off in town, the tornado sirens. Think world of the world, sans Tom Cruise. Similar to that. I had friends leave their houses, drive to their parents' houses, go down in the basements, and hope they saw another day. Me? Ha! Somehow I slept through it. So I'm feeling pretty good about life right now. I just wanted to reiterate something to you guys, just in case I ever quit making videos. If randomly one day I quit uploading videos, there is only two explanations. One, a tornado touched down in Ohio, and two, I slept right through it. <laughs> Welcome to the video, guys. Today, man, I'm gonna cover my meal plan. We've been doing a lot of themed meal plans lately, a lot of cool videos. We're getting a lot of views and a lot of love. Thank you guys, as always. Smash that thumbs up button. But today, I wanted to cover what I've been doing lately. Last six weeks, I've been on a meal plan that I made. My goal being, keep it simple, keep it effective. One where I don't really feel like I'm dieting, yada yada, you've heard it before. But in six weeks, I swear I have not only made gains, but am I looking thick? Thick and chunky like salsa. Arriba. Might cut that out. I feel literally like the best I've ever felt, and that is without any anabolic supplements. So that's with really just diet, hard work, and you know, you guys get it, you guys get it. I'm gonna break down what I do, and we're just gonna have some fun. You guys ready to have some fun? You guys are ready. Then as always, you know I'm here to post, cook, explain, convert you to Jehovah's Witness. I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Now, before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, food puns, I'm gonna touch on a couple things. One, a lot of the videos I do have you eating like five meals a day, eating all day, and me personally, I did that for a long time, but I don't really do that anymore. I tend to eat all my food in one meal. Maybe two if you count a midnight snack, but most of my calories come in one meal. You might be like, Ram, that sounds crazy. Lock this man up and put him in a straight jacket. But for real, that's like the look I get from people when I tell them I eat one meal a day. I'm telling you though, be open-minded about this because anybody I've ever talked to that was against it, that tried it, ended up loving it. So what you're about to see me make is literally just all my calories, all my macros, everything I need for a day in one meal. So it, it turns into quite a feast. Like my dad always said, sometimes you got to strap on the old feed bag and get to work. Now there's a lot of benefits to intermittent fasting. You don't got to do it as crazy as I do, but there are benefits to it. And if you've never tried it, I'm telling you, man, it can be a game changer. Find it helps you stay leaner. Oh, oh, give me more energy throughout the day and all that stuff. I have videos on that. If you'd like to see a full breakdown, you can comment down below, but I just want to preface that beforehand. I eat one time a day for the most most part, I'm just drinking black coffee <sighs> up until my fasting period and drinking branch aminos with my water. That's about it. Let's break this down. All right, I told y'all I wasn't lying. I keep this so stupid simple, even a caveman could do it. Right after he gets car insurance, he'd do this. So check it out, man. Normally I buy about 20 ounces of lean ground beef. I like to do 93.7 because it's gonna have more protein and a little less fat. If you do 80-20 ground beef, dear Lord, you're gonna be feeling that one. That's so much fat, you're gonna sweat Crisco. So instead, get it leaner. It's a little more, but what was this? For my days worth of protein, about $7.72, not too shabby. And I think it tastes good, man. Eating chicken every day ain't bad, but beef tastes good, easy to cook, it's already grounded. Ain't going out on Friday, you're grounded. But yeah, really easy. Like I said, I keep it simple. So this is, for me, this is what works the best, man. I always find, as crappy as it sounds, if you eat the same thing every day, really the best way stuff works, man. And then for rice, we got basmati rice. Sounds like an exotic car. I've been driving the basmati ranger. All right, enough food puns. Royal brand. Difference between like a basmati rice and like a regular white rice is I find the texture of this is a hundred times better. It's a little thicker, a little longer. I know some people say size isn't everything, but here I'm about that length and girth. So it's a little more for this, but I find that overall, if I'm going to eat it every day, I might as well really enjoy it. Plus we're going to do some really cool stuff with this rice. We're going to turn it yellow. He's yellow. You're going to see, man, it's like designer rice. If regular white rice is like a Ford Explorer, this is like a Range Rover on dubs. So yeah, you're going to see what we do there. And then as far as veggies go, you guys know I love myself some green peas. I just, once again, it's kind of like my whole beef thing. If I'm going to eat it every day, I at least want to enjoy it. So I love peas, lots of fiber, micro nutrients, yada, yada, yada. He's in a pod. So yeah, a whole bag a day keeps the doctor away, all that good stuff. And then we're also gonna do 10 eggs. Oh. 10 eggs, man. I'll show you what we do with them too, but eggs are great, man. Healthy fats, protein, all that jazz. You know the drill. Then we got some extra virgin coconut oil. I prefer my coconut oil virgin, unaffected by the sultry desires of society. And I prefer it not to have a tender profile. I like it to be sweet and innocent. Some healthy fats in there. You're gonna see what we do. It's gonna help with our little rice thing. And then chicken broth. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna show you this rice hack and y'all ain't gonna believe what I'm about to do with it.
it. Gonna be crazy. So yeah, this is it. This is all I need for my daily meal. And I eat this Monday through Friday. Saturday nights is my cheat night. And then Sunday, I'll usually do it again unless I have other obligations then I might cheat again, but who knows. This is, this is literally though my Monday through Friday every week, no matter what, I've been doing it for six weeks and I feel amazing. So let's go ahead and start breaking this down. I'm telling you, this is the rice recipe you didn't know you needed. We start with one cup of our white rice and by the end of it, it's gonna be more yellow than snow in the winter time after I shouldn't do that with food. All right, let's go. Step one, one cup of your rice. Step two, we're gonna need half a teaspoon of turmeric, boom. And by the way, you can just eat this white if you want, but this really jazzes it up in my opinion. All right, we need a quarter teaspoon ground ginger. Bam. Half teaspoon garlic powder. What well, bam Half teaspoon onion powder. Bam. Pinch of salt. Yup, and then 14 grams of coconut oil, boom. Once you got all that combined, get your rice cooker or you can boil it on the stove top, whatever. This is just too easy not to do it this way. Dump it in there. Woo. And then remember that chicken broth from earlier? Do you remember it? Well, we popped the top. We're gonna use that as our liquid. Bingo. And that's it, baby. Close it, Bow. boom. Hit the white rice button. And in about 20 minutes, that's gonna be solid. All right, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Why is there 10 shells, but only six eggs in the basket? Is he trying to trick us? Hold your horses, Henry. There's 10 Technically 10 eggs in here, but I used a spoon and removed the yolk. So I am eating six of the yolks, but we keep four egg whites in there for that protein. So we can seal that up, put you over there, and our eggs are ready to go. All right, boys, let's see how the rice turned out. Whoa, whoa. boom, look at that, baby. Regular white rice, we have transformed it into something more. Now the bottom might get that little coating on it. It's a little chewy and it tastes good. Some of the best things in life are just a little chewy. Y'all should really smell this, man. It smells like a Popeyes at 3 p.m. The best smell. So we got our bed of rice laid down. Woo, fogging. Now I'm gonna take my green peas and I just add them right on here. And voila, veggies and carbs are done. Now we just gotta do our protein and we're in there. What I love about this plant is how easy it is. Beef, you got no cutting, nothing like that. You just open the package, grab it by the meat, toss it in. Boom, time to build a beef castle. Start with the foundation. Oh, got a lot of beef here. Whole lot. Oh, bam. And then once I got all this done, I saved the eggs for last. I cooked them up, rinsed the pan out real quick, preheat, cook those, and then we good. Dab it with a little spray. Boom. He is, stay with it. You want good eggs, stay with it. Keep stirring until they're done. Doesn't take too long. And the finishing touches, boom. I need to get some bigger plates. And that is how it's done. Now, before I break down exactly what's in this, as far as macros, calories, and all that, I want you guys to understand one thing. And that is that we are all different. We all have different nutritional needs. We all have different lifestyles. Some of us are more active, some are less, some have faster metabolisms, yada, yada. So what I'm about to tell you is perfect for me. You can try it and give it a shot, but it might need some tweaking if you're really trying to dial it in for your body to get the best result. If this is all a little confusing and you want a little bit of help, RemingtonJamesFitness.com. I'm a personal trainer and I can help you get your diet right, get your macros right, get your training right, whatever it is that you require. That way you don't got to think about all this stuff and you can literally just follow it. And as long as you do that, I promise you it works. So if that sounds cool, check out RemingtonJamesFitness.com and now let's move on to the number. How many of y'all think you could eat that in one sitting? Be honest, comment below. Requires a champion's mindset and a will forged from Dragonstone. But if you have those two things, you're good. In this entire thing, we have 2,325 calories. Like I said, I do this for me and my stats, man. And I find this to be a really, really good number for me. Overall, we got 86 grams of fat, 203 grams of protein, and 197 grams of carbs. And the best part is you get to eat this mountain of food every single night. When you don't eat all day, it leaves a lot of room in your stomach. So you can take something like this, sit and munch on it for a little bit, watch a show or something, get all your calories in, feel full. And then you don't even gotta think about food until the next day. Pretty nifty, huh? What do you guys think? You also gotta get that rice to try. It's a game changer. Hey, get it. Get a, get a load how big this is. That's as big as my head. I think this is the thumbnail right here. Woo, man. Always a good time stuffing this in my gut. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Crazy thing about dieting and living a better lifestyle, all that good stuff is that there's not just one way to do it. There is a ton of ways to do it. It's all about finding what works best for you. I've tried every diet under the sun. Look back through my video history, my tenured YouTube career. Filled with ups, some downs, definitely some downs. But I've tried a ton of diets trying to figure out what works best. And for me, I really think this is it. But at the end of the day, all that really matters is that you get in the right amount of macros and calories for you, no matter how you achieve that, whether that's taking this and splitting it into five meals or just eating it all in one, at the end of the day, making sure you hit your numbers is the most crucial component. That and train like you're trying to do something. Hard work always pays off. Like I said earlier, if this seems a little confusing to you and you wanna take some of the guesswork out of it, RemyChainsFitness.com. And if you're gonna try this whole extreme intermittent fasting thing, I normally don't eat until about five, six, seven p.m., depending on how busy I am that day. That's my only meal. If you're just starting fasting, two things are gonna help tremendously. Black coffee, blacker the better, 
and I'm talking like as black as the inside of a coffin on a moonless night black, devoid of light. And then two, drink a lot of water. I'm drinking at minimum a gallon a day and I am drinking branched chain amino acids all day because it tastes like Kool-Aid so I feel like I'm getting something and I'm getting branched chain aminos to keep me feeling solid. So if you need a good amino brand, wazam! Autobossperformance.com, sour moon rock flavor is excellent. We also got atomic bomb sickle, it's a good one too. Autobossperformance.com, could RGF10 will save you 10% off and you get this cool piece of art you can put on top of your fridge. Boom! Ladies love it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below what kind of diet you'd like to see me do. I thought about doing a vegan meal plan and actually trying to eat it and see how that went, but you ever watch any of those vegan YouTube videos? Woo. Spoiler alert, they're pretty vegan. <laughs> Social media links, description box below, and I think that is everything. I'm rambling a little bit. Appreciate you guys as always, and I will see you at the next video. Peace! How big that is, man. Always have a good time stuffing that in my gut. Later!